Welcome back to Amnesia the Bunker. I was gonna head straight to the Roman tunnels, but before that there are a couple small things I want to do. Now that we have the bolt cutters. Now that we have the bolt cutters, there's some bolts I want to cut. Uh, but before that I need to do a quick fuel run because I have absolutely no extra fuel. Here's one of the places I can use the bolt cutters, in the prison. I've got a filing cabinet. Reynard is dead. 15th of July. Reynard is dead. Murdered in the halls outside his quarters last night. His body desecrated. Given the severity of the violence done to him, Josinski claims it must have been at least two assailants. I would have said it impossible to imagine any of our men committing such a heinous act, but after the tunnel sabotage, I clearly should have expanded my imagination. The guilty are among us. I will round up the most likely suspects. Interrogations to begin this afternoon. Reynard's body is being prepared to return to his family. He was a good man. This act will not go unpunished. Permission to court-martial. Permission to court-martial all the tunnel saboteurs is granted. Any mercy is to be meted out at your discretion. I don't know about you, but I have none left. I say throw them all in the pit. Leave them there till armistice or judgment day. Whichever comes sooner. This should be an interesting one to open. This was at the very beginning of the game. The one where I lodged this thing inside of it. Now you can barely even see the chains. Let's hope this works. Hope the door doesn't explode on me. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, it just bandages inside. Hmm. Here's another filing cabinet with a chain. It's in someone's room whose door I blew up in... I think this is in maintenance. About digging too deep. 2nd of April. My friend, received your message about the order to dig the bunker deeper. I appreciate your enthusiasm, your patriotism. I only wish I could share it. I fear command will only prove themselves fools and your men will pay the cost. They want a grand subterranean hub of courage, steel, and intelligence. We both know what they will get. A rancid, stinking pit, a void, a hole, full of men, scared and confused. Then they will proclaim it a success and issue a new order. Dig again. Deeper this time. For France. For victory. Your orders, that dig, they are the very war itself in miniature. The arrogant and idiotic leading the scared and foolish ever downward toward darkness. I'm sorry, my friend. My mood is pitch black, and everywhere I look, I see this world barreling forward into chaos. Please keep this message between us. I don't need a court martial heaped upon my woes. Toussaint's fate, 11th of June. In regards to the fate of the saboteur Toussaint Bufoy, LaRue has added further details to his confession. He now claims that upon entering the Roman tunnels that night, Toussaint confided in LaRue that he had other work to do. When LaRue pressed him for detail, Toussaint whispered something and pointed to his own eyes. Soon after, Toussaint split from the other saboteurs and disappeared into the darkness. When the others failed to locate him, they assumed he had returned to his bunk and proceeded with their plan. I believe it's safe to assume that Toussaint either perished in the blast or has since starved to death in the rubble. Okay, time to tie some things together in the story. So my wife was watching one of these videos and reminded me something about the water from Amnesia Rebirth. There's going to be some spoilers for Amnesia Rebirth, so skip the next couple minutes if you don't want spoilers. So here we go. In Amnesia Rebirth, the main character drinks from a pool of water, and it's that water that starts to turn them into a, I don't know, a ghoul or, or something. It starts to transform them. So yeah, this healing water also turns you into some creature of darkness. 
I suggested before that Lambert might be the monster because of someone mentioning that they thought the monster recognized them. And then the odd thing about Lambert saying that they were injured in the fall, but then the other person reporting that when Lambert returned, they weren't injured at all in the fall. And if you go back to Lambert's journal, they say here that um, Henry lowered himself to me, found a trickle of spring water there, and had me drink from it. It was cool and crisp with a strange, sweet taste. Never has water felt more nourishing than that. And remember, this pit that he had fallen into was a pit over the Roman tunnels. Where we know monsters l live, or at least the nasty water lives. Also, we just read about how Toussaint, one of the members of the sabotage party, disappeared into the night, splitting off from the sabotage party, going to blow up the tunnels, pointing to their eyes and then just walking into the darkness. And we have a journal entry from them talking about how they have dreams. Uh, I dream of it every night now. Dreams are so real that when I wake, the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with the drinking of a liquid, sweet and thick, like mucus or honey, repulsive and yet intoxicating. So, yeah, 100%. The water that Lambert drank turned them into a monster. And probably the monster we're seeing is Lambert, almost certainly. And Toussaint seemed to be drawn in by it as well, and they disappeared in the Roman tunnels. I would not be surprised if they too have drank it and have turned into a monster as well. All of that said, I think it's time to head to the Roman Tunnels. I'm gonna snip this just so I don't accidentally hit it. Oh, it's a water pump. That's... That's gonna be loud. Can I not go in here? When it's filled with water? No, I can. But I suppose there's things on the ground I might not be able to find. With everything being flooded. Wait, can I even get through here? Wait, maybe I can squeeze in here. Oh, yes! With that power on, I think this can be turned on. Yeah, that is so loud! be okay though yeah I don't need to leave that running I don't think oh my I wish I brought my flashlight
just... Why did that just turn out? Oh, is this a new safe zone? Uh, what the fuck? Are those eyeballs? <gasps> Toussaint. He pointed at his eyes. And then walked off into the darkness. Oh, I can pick them up. I don't want to pick them up. I think it's a shotgun. I guess it's saying that you can break wooden doors with a shotgun. Empty bottles. Toussaint's madness. Had to see what the dark held. Had to. Neuer. Farber. All of them. They don't have the right kind of eyes. There's a world down here full of seductions and secrets, and my eyes are right for it. Never mind that they trapped me down here. I've seen <laughs> a vision. A vision of a gone world. Bloody and terrible. Beautiful and awful. Godly and infernal. All around me voices. The past. Clawing. Spinning. Whirling. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. Have to stop it. Can't see it anymore. It tasks me with what I do not know. Please, God above, if you ever were there, end this. Give me some way to end this. I see it now. I see it now. See not. See it now. See it not. Whirling and whirling and whirling. It calls for blood. Comment on Neuer's report. Our mad classicist has struck again. Neuer has filed a report claiming that the Romans used these tunnels to hold sadistic bacchanals, great festivals of cruel combat, torture, and worse. Further, he says, these were all held in an arena over a great pit. Any who fell into it fell into screaming darkness. His words. What a poet. I've been in the tunnels. They're tunnels. Full stop. Recommend surveillance on Neuer. God. Is that the pit that Lambert fell into? What a cursed place. That's the, uh, detonator. I suppose it would be hoping for too much if I could just bust through that with a, like a pickaxe or a hammer, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, there's that material we saw in Rebirth. That, like, weird portal material that we could activate with that device.
That's Toussaint. Per perhaps they're not a monster yet. Oh, that's a one way. want them to see me. I want that grenade. We were the world, the world we were. It all gets lost, lost in the bloody twirl. So they have the shotgun. I need more fuel, but I can always drop it if I, if I don't need it anymore. A second grenade. sees me, he's gonna blast my head off without even thinking twice. I mean, I guess, if they hear me. Do 
they run off that way? There's shades everywhere. Oh, fuck. They can't see, right? They can't see. It all gets lost in a terrible twirl. Can't see the sun fall or the black smoke. that locked. Okay. Let's attract them. I don't think that killed them. No. Shit. Okay, I have two rounds. I could light more f fire if I pour some fuel on the ground and use a flare. And then, of course, I have the grenade. It's just the grenade takes a couple seconds to go off, and their hearing is really good. So I'm not confident about that. It didn't work the last time. Jesus, I can't believe I- yeah, I survived barely. I hope that killed them, though. The grenade? Fucking better of. They're not even dead! How we doing? Okay, we're good. Ah! Shades now. Oh, 
Okay. <sighs> 12 gauge pump action shotgun. Hold six rounds and one in the chamber for close quarters combat in the trench. Well, I've got four extra rounds on us. Anything loaded? What's it got in it? Well, I'm not sure how many it had to start with, but now it has at least four. Now you can't really see, can you? Like, I can see two in there. <laughs> That's about it. Let's not waste a shotgun round opening this door. I guess fuel. Oh, pocket bag. Yeah. Is this... the pit? Don't drink that goddamn water. A stuffed rabbit toy might have sentimental value to someone. Can be thrown. If Lambert's going to recognize that, what would happen if I threw that to the monster? There, I guess. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Now 
Maybe I just could have walked around. I'm not sure. I don't really remember the layout of this place. Yeah, here. Th this is where I need up. No surprise the generators run dry. the wall to figure out where I'm going. Did they finally come for that body next to the generator? I've been wondering about that. this body. Can I light it with this? Oh. Hey. Yeah, I was a little too close. Oops. It's fine. We got a million bandages. I don't suppose that made the rats upstairs just disappear? Oh, it did actually. Ah, oh, they probably went back in that hole. Oh, maybe they're coming out to eat some of the stray meat that I left here. I'm sure I've dropped a bunch of meat. Let's use Lambert's code. 6380. July 1916. Up again. In the chapel. 
trying to pray, but my mind is too alive with thoughts of the crater, the rabbit, and that water, its taste. And yet I don't feel tired. Instead, I feel this itch, this sense that there are things I must do. Purpose. A bloody purpose higher than any of man's petty wars. 13th July, 1916. Morning. Everyone's talking about hearing scratching at the walls. Tremblay even claims to have heard howls echoing through the barracks. I feel strange myself. Can barely find the words to write. My hands feel so odd, gnarled, bulbous, like they don't belong to me. I hesitate to write this, but a thought keeps echoing in my head. A thought I must not act on. A bloody thought so seductive. It calls. It calls. It calls. 15th July, 1916. Madness in the barracks this morning. Renard's dead. They say murder, but will not show us the body. A dream rises in my mind. Countless cruel eyes upon me. Must check on Henri. Wish he would wake. Could use a friend. My prayers remain unanswered. 18th July, 1916. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Their pain. I want more of it. I can hear Tremblay now. Coming closer. 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 I can get what I want from him. One thing stands out to me. This line, a dream rises in my mind, countless cruel eyes upon me. I wonder if that's referring to the the purpose of that pit, that it was supposedly an arena where cruel things happened. I wonder if those cruel eyes upon me are perhaps the people watching this like this f- fucked up blood sport, whatever they were doing there happening. Maybe that's the cruel eyes upon them. I think it's time to leave. I'm not sure that worked so well. I probably should have taken my wind-up flashlight. Oh God. Is it going to be a portal? these things. Oh, 
it's over there. Oh, oh, I think it spotted me. Oh, hello? Uh, what, huh? what happened? I tried to open my inventory. Yeah. I didn't take any bandages with me. That helps. Kinda. Was my last shot for the pistol. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have gotten close. I want to see what it does with the rabbit when it's not aggroed on me. something. Oh my god. You're still coming after me? Jesus Christ. I'm out! Let's try to be more cautious this time. Does it? It's going to find the rabbit. Now I think I need to build a way up. Did I hear that? Oh, we heard that. I think it's gonna leave me alone.
Ah, oh, shit. How many shots do I have left in this thing? I'm actually... I have no idea. Okay, okay, okay. This is an improvement. I hope this is normal water. You're scared of the light, right? Right? We're saved. <laughs> oh, well. Wow, what a great game. Freaking love frictional games. Everything they make is just brilliant. Yeah, I don't know if there will be a scene after the credits. I'll go ahead and edit in a little text box right now from the future telling you whether there's something after. Yeah, quick thoughts. I mean, I loved it, obviously. It's a really clever variation on a formula that they've been using for years in their games. They add in a little bit of combat, but just a hint of it, and you can't actually defeat the enemy. You can just fend them off for a time. And then they add in this whole resource management thing with the fuel, and it's just fantastic. Yeah, I think I'll just end it there, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.